I think I'm gonna play Benedict. I really like him playing the story missions. It's all about the bird and the flight. Got a big problem. A rogue Magnus AI has seized control of one of their old list settlements, and they've called us to help clear it out. Nothing we can't do. Did you hear mention a name? Yeah, actually. Isaac. Oh, well then. We're all going to die. Lovely. Alright, who should I play? I'll play Benedict. He's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I like the Screaming Eagle cow costume. It's pretty rockety. I feel like I've played this mission a thousand times. Ever since the open beta, this and the second mission were the only missions you could play. I have mastered these missions. Usually I shoot the sniper up in the top first, but I just challenge me. Oh, it's 20 pickups? Alright. Pickups. Pick up. We'll avoid this mess. Much better. Uh oh. You always want to get these bonuses. Extra credits. One time I actually got a rare loot pack out of one of these. Very, very useful. Ah, uh, one more, huh? Oh, look at that. You always want to just keep grinding down with these minions. Getting levels. best for Benedict, that reload speed. Keep the rockets flying. I will do more um, mission walkthroughs. want to beat these missions in kind of a timely fashion because you get more bonus points at the end of the match of how fast you beat the mission 
But you always want to get these credits. Hey, Rocketeer Box. Red things give you shards. Just found that out a couple days ago, actually. Always thought that it blew up and hurt you. What I do on this map, I just run around, maybe get a quick kill or two, collecting all these power ups. Sometimes get an overshield, very nice for when the two mini bosses come. Henchmen. Alright, I will save the rest for later because some may be health power ups and I may need them. I always try to destroy these teleports before any minions get through. It's a lifesaver. And they give you a lot of experience. 20. To the minions average 15. Whoopsies. 2 plus rockets. Really good. Really good. I always reload after I use a rocket. Re you really load so fast. Do you get any reload speed? I stress that you get it for uh, Benedict. I'm always moving. Never really stopping, so I don't want to get hit by these guys. Here's the henchman. I've never really found a way past that, but when I'm with Benedict, after a couple rocket hits, it goes off right away. I'll be going with the other henchman. Oh, look at that. I've played this mission, let alone, 30 times. Just target these guys out one by one. If you get them next to each other, get that burst going. Homing rockets just destroy these guys. Get all these boosts too, all these little boosts. At the end of the match, you get a whole bunch of bonus score. And points as well. Alright. Ooh, chest. There's, always, there's more likely a chest there. I have really never seen there not a chest here. You always get some items out of there. Ooh, and a helix. Head to minion kill. I suggest you buy a minion here. It can be repair, temporal assault. Temporal just slows them. Repair heals you and assault. My favorite. Gives you a little bit more extra firepower.
if I actually do it back in this map and just hang back, take out the teleporters one by one. Just for that experience. So when you fight the final boss, Isaac, you are of the level. Oh, worst. I hate them. Ronins. Big drill down there. Just gonna take these out. And when you do take these out, that door will open and there will be some extra bots you'll have to worry about. So if, you, if you're really in a tough situation, don't take these doors out. Wow. Whoa, uh whoa. -oh. That is not safe at all. Was it the big guy that did that? I'm pretty sure the big guy did that. Whoa! That is disappointing. Never seen that happen before. Alright, screw it. Just Kill one MX Elite bot, easy. I'll focus the one that I was doing damage on. He does send out a shock path when he is done charging. I did forget about that. And as you can see, he does like 400 damage, so you're low health, don't be too close. Shield though. A lot of experience from these guys. 58. It's like almost 3 million teleporters. And he's also hoarding all this. Very nice. Usually there's stuff in here. I found chests in here too. ourselves a new bot. This usually goes by real fast. With this Oscar Mike's really easy with this one because he goes invisible. Benedict just got to give him a little bit more firepower. I should have bought a heal bot. Don't be afraid to use waste shards. It's really just doing you a favor. You don't have to buy turrets or nothing. Some missions I advise you to save your uh, shards, but not mission one. With this guy, just keep moving. Try not to get in front of him, even though he really attacks everywhere. He is attacking my bots. That's the nice thing about bots too, they take all the aggro off you. I can never crit on this guy. Alright, he's gonna go to the... I'm just coming over here to take off these minions. Cause later on they stack and they get real annoying, let me tell you. You have to crush him out of that structure. 
There's always a couple minions in here defending us. And just run through here quick. Don't spend your time because he will shoot you. First one's always easy. Second one is a tad bit more difficult. There's no nothing blocking you. Now he's gonna shoot out webs. And if you do get stuck in these, it does take a while to get out of them. Oh, it's nice too when you're playing a ranged character. You just keep the you just keep the attention on them. Those webs do go away. It does take a little bit, but they do. But when you're with Benedict, you're just flying all over. I just, use, I just move back and forth, jump around every once in a while, really never hits me. Oh, no. I only got hit by one of these things once before. Those webs are a killer. Uh, you jump over here. This is the most difficult one, I'd say. You don't have to rush. Like right here, suggest you have a minion. Because he does keep a lot of damage on you. Keep these strikers dead. When there's like four or five of them out there, real annoying. Alright, hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. One more, alright. Usually with my luck, I always find them right there. Heal bot right about now. Soloing this guy is real hard. He's got a lot of health. Low health, he pops out the shock turrets, and they keep coming. That's why I enjoy my range. My experience so far in this game, any minion gives you experience. 
Even the ones spawned by the beast spawners. Everywhere. Even if they're a crap minion, they still give you experience. Yeah, if you want to be really safe about this, get Oscar Mike or Benedict. They're the easiest ones to do this with this mission. coming up here soon. Kill 10 minion bots. Alright. Just destroy these. I usually ignore him till later. Oh, jeez. I'm a little rusty on this mission. Six XP, even though they're like really crappy minions. See you later. Now I have to worry about the Frost Giants. He's fun. Sit up there the whole most time. Oh, there he is. He's coming up. I think it's really easy. He does go in the ground though and regenerate, which really does suck. He does it for exactly two times. No more, no less.
I remember getting him down really low, then he still went into the ground twice. That's kind of hard to focus, too. Oh, there you go, going back into the ground for the second time around. Yep. Well, usually it works hard to do that. Boom, for the finisher. And these little guys, they stay alive too. Forget him, just run around, get boosts. Charge, that's really helpful, really useful. We are almost to Isaac, the final boss to this mission. There is a challenge, I believe it's kill or open chest. It's it's different. There's one that kill swarmers, open chest. When you want to get the open chest one, all you do is come down in this little room. I'm telling you, there's like 30 chests down here. Find some really cool shit right in the middle. Yeah. I just kill these for experience. away from getting there. Once I activate this, we are boss free. Straight to the underlings. I'll show you a few strategies I use to fight the boss. It will focus you with the weakest uh, arm it has. So you always want to keep moving backwards. And then when he does come in for a stop, just run around the map. Because he will run back and focus you with that weak arm.
Bada bing, bada boom. Easy pie. Benedict does a lot of damage. When you're out of rockets, it's just useful just to keep hitting it. Alright, he's getting a little jazzy, switching arms. Uh oh, you want to stay in the air when this happens? See, he folks me with a weak arm. I'm pretty sure he's coming down to slam. Oh, no, we got some rockets coming our way. I find this the easiest boss in the game. Honestly. I've played this with a party of five, too. Didn't find any trouble with it. Alright, one more run. This guy is straight to his head. He always runs with his weak arm to the side. Uh oh. Electric shot. Oh, really, guys? All right, now he's gonna go to his head. He'll just pop out of there and boom. I'm really good with focusing on him. It's not that hard, and then once he's done, collect your loot. Collect your loot, hero. Collect all of it. Hey, better be jazzed. Woo. Get him all while it's done, too, because you don't have much time after that. He dies. Alright, that's a mission complete. I will be back soon with either mission two or a couple other uh, gameplays for heroes. See you later, YouTube.